Hi everyone, today I'm going to tell you how you can measure the capacity of your power bank. For instance, this one is meant to be 10,050 milliamp hour. So how can you check it? Well, you might be thinking, I can just plug in my phone because I know the size of my phone battery. So if I just charge my phone, then run it down, then charge it, then run it down and charge it, I'll be able to get the capacity right. But that's not accurate for two reasons. One, the chances are while you're charging the phone, it's also turned on doing things if it's just going to consume power. And number two, there's a loss going from the internal battery here to 5 volts and then going in here and dropping the voltage again for your internal battery. So the best way to do it is to use a dummy load like this. Now this is basically just two resistors and a switch to switch between 1 amp and 2 amp. Now to simulate a regular cell phone, I'm going to be using just 1 amp. And the next piece of equipment you need is a watt meter like this, which can measure how much power is consumed over a period of time. Now this Asus Zen Power Pack has been fully charged and I'm going to plug my dummy load into the watt meter and then the watt meter I'm going to plug into the power bank. And you can see that it has come on and we're reading 4.89 volts, 0.92 amp and we've currently consumed 2 milliamp hour. So we can basically leave this running until the battery stops outputting power and then we'll be able to read this to see how much power we managed to get out of it and whether it truly is 10,500 milliamp hour. Now this dummy load gets extremely hot during use so I'm going to bring in a fan and I'm just going to use that to help cool it while it's running. So I expect I'll be back in many hours to finish this video. So a number of hours have passed, the power bank was completely depleted and then I have recharged it since. Now one thing I want to say is that somebody commented on one of my other videos to say that these resistors can actually handle up to around 200 degrees centigrade. So chances are you don't actually need to use a fan to keep them cool. But at the same time, I think it doesn't hurt. So I'll probably continue to use the fan, but you probably don't need to. Now the nice thing about this watt meter is it does retain the values when power is lost. So we haven't lost any data. If I plug it into the power bank, you can see that we hit 6,320 milliamp hour. Now I know what you might be thinking, 6,320 milliamp hour is nowhere near 10,050. But let's have a think for a minute about what a power bank is actually rated on. Now inside this power bank are three battery cells, 18650 batteries with voltages of 3.7 volts. So that means we've got three cells and each one is around 3350 milliamp hour, giving us the total of 10,050. Now if we take this 10,050, multiply it by the voltage of the cells, so 3.7 volts, and divide it by 1,000, that gives us 37.2 watt hours. So that's a much more accurate way to measure a power bank is in watt hours, because when we take the power out, we're taking it at 5 volts instead of 3.7 volts. So obviously that's going to affect it. Now when we were drawing power out, we were drawing it around 4.94 volts and we totaled 6,320 milliamp hour. So we do the same sum again, 6,320 multiplied by the voltage, which was 4.94, divide that by 1,000 and it gives us 31.22 watt hours, which is about 84% of what it's actually meant to be rated at. Now, of course, there will be some losses going from 3.7 volts to 5 volts. And that's pretty much going to sum up for that. So overall, I think 84% of the quoted rating is actually pretty good. And I would say that, it, you know, give or take, this is probably pretty accurate. And you have to bear in mind that I have been using this for a few months as well. Although I'm not a very heavy user with this one. So it hasn't seen much use, but it has had some use. So there you go. Now you know how to measure the actual capacity of your power bank using a watt meter, which can do some logging over time and a dummy USB load like this. So if you found the video useful, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos and if you have any questions put them in the comment section down below thanks for watching